Hey everybody, it's Michelle West here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Roadrunner Sports in Paramus, New Jersey, where I'm going to get fitted for a new pair of running shoes. As you see in my last video, I have always used the at-home water test to get fitted for a new pair of shoes. And as I tell you in that video, it is important for you to actually come to a store and get fitted. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to get fitted for the very first time and I'm very excited because mama needs a new pair of running shoes. We are going to meet with a manager Lyle Saperstein and he's going to take me through the entire running shoe fitting process and make sure you stick around to the end of this video where we can see if I was actually right about my foot type. All right guys let's get inside the store and try on some shoes. Hey guys I made it inside the store we are in Roadrunner Sports in Paramus New Jersey and I am here with Lyle Saperstein he is the manager of Roadrunner Sports and he is going to take me through the whole fitting process. Yes I am. Awesome okay tell me what I'm going to do okay, today. So basically first thing first let me have you sit down I'm gonna have you take your shoes and your socks off I'm gonna give you a pair of our socks that have a blend of wicking material so basically you wanted to get that moisture away from your foot. Okay. Try and keep your feet dry. All right, hopefully he makes me put the socks on quick because I don't got a pedicure and I want y'all to see my toes. Oh, these feel good. <laughs> these are comfortable. What specifically are you going to use the shoes for today? Well, I, I do some running outside and I also run on the treadmill a lot. Now I do switch my shoes when it comes to my strength training, so. Perfect. How many days a week are you running? Oh, uh, I would say like, Maybe four. Cushioning in a shoe. Do you like a lot of cushioning? Do you like some cushioning? Do you like no cushioning? I do like cushion. Like cushion, okay. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot, a lot. So like a, lot. a happy medium. Do you like your shoes sitting on the snugger side? Do you like a little bit of room? Do you like a lot of room? I like them snug. You like them snug? I do. Okay, so can I shake your hand real quick? Yes. Okay, so if I measure you up and this is a size eight, say, mm -hmm. okay, but now all of a sudden I tell you to go for a quick jog and your heart's beating and now all of a sudden you do that. Do you like that? I would feel like that would be a little tight. All right, so we want a little bit of room. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning something new every day. I asked about the handshake because it's easier for people to feel that. As a workout person, you said you run, heart's beating faster, body swells faster. Yep. So we want a little bit of room so that you're not smashing your toes up front, either smashing through the shoes, creating what's called hammer toe, mm -hmm. losing toenails. We want to do everything we can to mitigate that. Let's measure you up. Come on over here. This is my 3D scanner. Basically, nice. Basically, basically taking a picture of your foot. I think about maybe six to seven seconds or so. We're going to transport you like that. You're a Star Trek fan. You're not Teleportation. Like, Teleportation. All right. So Take me to Hawaii. I wish. I'd be right there with you. I'd be jumping on. Be... Come on off. I'm gonna show you your measurements in a minute, but what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna do the treadmill part of it. Okay. I'm gonna get you to a speed that you're comfortable at. Okay. And once you're done at your speed, I'm gonna go back and record you for like 10 seconds. Okay. If you wanna run, that's on you. I want, normally I have people just walk quickly because I don't want anyone falling. Mm -hmm. I've never lost anybody. <laughs> I don't want you to be my first person. Okay. That would be a bad day for both of us. <laughs> and the cameras. And the cameras. Yeah. I think it'd be perfect. <laughs> for the video part, that might be great. Well, maybe we have her fall in a few guys. Okay. Let's get it started. Okay. Let's start. Oh, I feel the slippery. You feel the slippery. I was looking forward to that the whole time. All I wanted to do was run in the store. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> nice. At you. you are flying. I need oh. to get you a cape. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need shoes. You're flying. There are a couple things that I'm looking at. One, when your feet are landing, I'm trying to see how your feet are being positioned. Okay. And then the second part is I'm trying to see are your feet landing on the outside, uh -huh. straight, or what we call in or what we call over pronation. So watch your left foot. So there's no weight on your left foot. As soon as you come down and put weight on it, uh -huh. you see how it kind of falls in right here yep. a little bit? And watch your right foot. Outside, a little. So, and the right foot falls in too, so you can kind of see it collapsing right in here. Uh -huh. When you look at your feet, your feet are pointing out, so duck feet, quack, quack. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, the biggest part is what we're looking at for the type of shoe is we are looking at a stability category issue because of the the falling in or the over pronation. So I'm measuring up in an eight and a half on both feet. So on your left foot, you see here it's C, uh -huh. and your right foot's D. Fun. For women, a regular width is B for boy. Okay. Wide is D for David. Okay. So your left foot's a little wide. Okay. Your right foot is wide. So when you're running or exercising, do you find tightness side to side? Yes. So probably more than likely, you would probably just buy an eight and a half regular. Yep. Because you would go to a store and be like, I'm an eight and a half. Normal. Yep. And people would just pull a shoe, probably wouldn't even ask you if you're wide or anything like that. Like, Here's your shoe and you're like, yep, love that. That's yep. the way my shoe feels. The Yep. We're a little different here. Uh huh. We go for feel first, and then we go if you want to, if it looks great, awesome, but we want you to feel good first. Nice. So normally I go up a half a size, so I would say with a size nine. Okay. And because you just told me the side to side part, is that you feel that also? So I want to start with a nine wide. Okay. Now, 
arches. Okay. See how there's a little discrepancy here? Yes. Left arch is a little on the lower side, right arch is getting up into that medium side. And you can see right here that space in there. Wow. And how over here it's a little flatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the things we do to help with that is we play with custom insoles. Okay. We find that they give a little bit better foot. They're going to help balance you out. They're going to help support you. They're going to take away some of the pressure. As I talked about, stability. A nice. little, little bit of cushioning, as you said. Size nine and the wide. Yep. This is all going to get emailed over to you. Nice. Um, talked about our socks, which we already have on the feet. So. I like these socks. Yep. All right, so let me go get the insoles. Insoles start off flat. Mm -hmm. There's a plate in here that heats up. Mm -hmm. So basically, once it's done heating, I use your body weight and a few motions and stuff like that on our memory foam pads. Mm -hmm. And then they help mold. And eventually, they'll probably have a little bit of a, a curve, to them. curve to them, okay. basically what your arches are going to look like nice. and stuff like that. I think I was a little off on my video, wasn't I? I was way off. Just a little bit. Not too much, but the stability shoe is what I need. Look, my, shoe, my insoles are heating. That's a cool little oven. I, can I make toast in there? Um, you can't make toast, but we do heat up cookies and brownies every so often. Are you serious? Nice. So women's shoes are all over here. Nice. Okay. So as you'll see, there's names on the on all of the shoes and stuff like that. And there's either a blue cloud or a green cloud. Yes. You are the green cloud. Green stability. stability. So let me go see what I have. I'll be right back. Okay. With size nine shoes. Sounds good. Hucha. Hucha. I really do like these socks. I learned so much today, like in that short period of time, learned about my foot. I got to run on the treadmill. We did a recording. You see, I fly. And then my shoe goes, my foot goes a little bit in, but that makes sense because my last shoes that I have, which I just bought online, I can see that the cushions, like I said, on the inside start to wear and the cushion outside is like, whoo, so. All right, this is a surprise. He didn't tell me what shoes I brought us, so this is like exciting. It's like Christmas day. Okay, Grace. In our store, we have what is called our rewards program, which is our loyalty program in the store. Mm -hmm. It saves you 10% on everything in the store. Okay. It gives you a 90-day wear and love and promise on our shoes, socks, and insoles. Nice. Shoes and socks, if you buy them and you're part of the program and you're not happy with them in that 90-day period, you can exchange them out for something else for store credit if they're worn. Okay, great. If they haven't been used, money back. The cool. insoles which we're making are 90-day money-back guarantee whether you're part of the program or not. Wow. The program is $20 for the year. Uh -huh. It covers everybody in the household. I love a loyalty program. It's, <laughs> it's good for me. Oh, oh, oh. These are so comfortable. These feel great. These really, really feel good. I like these a lot. Insoles did finish heating, so let's come on over here. Let's make those, and we'll come back here to all the stuff. Okay. okay. All right, I'm going to have you put one foot here, one foot here, and I'm going to have you hold on right here. Okay. I'm going to adjust your feet in a minute. This feels good underneath my feet. All right. Put weight on both feet, equal weight. Okay. All right, I'm just going to have you sort of lean back towards the heels a little bit. All right, back to the middle. Back to the middle. Bend your knees just a little bit. Bend my knees. So you're here for about 25 seconds. 25. Make sure you hold your core in, everybody. All right, I'm gonna have you just step off to the side and you can come on down. I'm gonna make sure that these look good, but you can see how there's a little bit of an arch in there now. Yep. So what we do now is we scan these up actually to a database. Okay. So down the road, if you like these, you can either A, order more of them, or yeah. if you don't like them today and you wanna buy them, you can buy them separate. Wow. On our website, there's a spot you would just go to find. It says custom insoles. You would put that email address in. It will have it and you can say, yep, I wanna order them. Oh. Click it, boom pay and send right to your house. Very good, love it. Or you just come to one of our stores and we just do it like we just did here. Mm -hmm. Try the other shoes, I'm gonna put the insoles in here. So okay. We'll get to try those on in a minute. I'm not really a pink girl, they got pink in the bottom, but that's okay. No, yeah, nice. but these are cute. And they're uh, closer to black. These feel really, really comfortable. I feel like it can jog it. These are nice. Very, very good. All right, so good. We're good too. <laughs> I want you to go back to the Brooks. I know I have one more shoe for you to try, but okay. I put the insoles in, I want you to go back to the Brooks. I want you to now see what that feels like with okay. the in there. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, these feel awesome. I like the insoles inside. Nice. Thank you. It feels like there's like, it looks like, it feels like this. If that makes sense? Yeah. I can see why you're running these. I feel like it just take off. These feel good. All right, so now it's do or die time for you to put Oh, no! Drum, drum. Yeah. My thoughts are... <laughs> drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Yeah. My thoughts are I really like the Brooks. Okay. These are, I feel like, are the most comfortable. They felt good with the insoles in. Matt, what shoes do you like the most? You do? You like these ones for real? Yeah, I do like those the most. I feel like I like the color of these. But I feel like I gotta go with the bro. I'm gonna go with Matt a little bit on this one. 
you said those felt the best. They yeah. do. In this store, that's what we're known yep. for. We want you to feel good. The first shoe that I tried on. I love it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Great job. <laughs> we'll probably get a run in them today, actually, because I got to do some cardio today, okay, right, y'all? So, get, so. Get, get them to see how they feel and yep. stuff like that. I'm excited. Excited for you. I'm glad that worked out for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's get you on the road. All right. Thank you. All right, everyone. I got my new pair of shoes, socks, and insoles, and I'm ready to go on my first run. As you saw in my last video, I was way off about my foot type, and there was someone in the comments who was spot on about what I should be wearing, so hey, thank you so much. I learned something new today. Thank you to Roadrunner Sports and Lyle Saperstein for taking me through the fitting process, and if you're looking to get fitted for a new pair of running shoes, make sure you check out Roadrunner Sports. I hope this video helped you out today and make sure you show me some love and give this video a thumbs up so I can help reach more people. All right, I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look, look at, I only have one part of nail polish on my toe. I just gotta ask, is there a little bit of blue on those toes? It is, like look. That, so it does go with the <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, thanks for that. Thanks, it's just